वेलकम बैक टू दीक्षा कर्नाटक यूट्यूब चैनल गाइस तो दिस इज योर निर्मल सर सो टुडे आई कम विद मॉक टेस्ट टू सॉल्यूशन ऑफ केमिस्ट्री पार्ट टू दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन टू सिक्सटी द स्टूडेंट्स हुआ वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो न्यूली प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट इफ यू नॉट रजिस्टर योर सेल्फ विद अभ्यास के सी टी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर काइंडली गो डाउन देर इज अ लिंक गिवन बिलो click on the link register yourself with through your email id then your all the mock test papers and the detailed solution pdf will be sent it to your mail so okay guys so please kindly register now let's go on to question number 31 that is nothing but a reaction has a rate law expression of so and so if both if concentration of both a and b are increased four times then the rate of the reaction now let us see which order of the reaction rate is equal order is equals to 3 by 2 plus of minus 1 by 2 therefore 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is nothing but your 1 therefore it is a first order reaction in the first order reaction we know that it if the if the both the concentration a are increased by the four times then the rate of the reaction also increases four times then the option a is your correct answer next wow guys Lux KCT crash course. I want to tell you about more about this. So, guys, it's a completely offline crash course. What we are running under the Diksha campuses. It is completely residential and a day scholar crash course. You can crack KCT in just twenty eight days of twenty twenty four. Okay, guys, it will start right after your board exam. More about this video, and you want to register about for this Lux KCT crash course. There is a link given below in the description box. Kindly click on click on the link, and you can avail this crash course. Now, question number thirty-two: The inversion of cane sugar into glucose and fructose is a reaction of. By seeing this, we can say that it's a example of pseudo first order reaction. It's a pseudo first order reaction, and it is very near to the first order reaction. Therefore, your correct answer will be option A. The rate equation for the reaction of say is given by this is your rate law they have given the value of the rate constant can be increased now it is a first order reaction it can be increased by the increasing temperature by increasing in the temperature we can increase the rate of the reaction as well next which of the following electrolytic solution has least specific conductance that is specific conductance decreases with decreasing concentration therefore specific conduction is least in 0.022 normal where it has specific conductance is very low as the concentration is among this the lowest concentration is the least concentration option b therefore the least specific conductance will be in the option b only clear now coming back to question number 35 cell constant for the gen cell constant of a cell is generally Found using standard KCL solution. It's direct question from your NCERT. Question number thirty-six. Electrolyte and limiting molar conductivity. They have given. We have to find out the limiting molar conductivity of molar conductivity of acetic acid. Therefore, acetic acid that is ACOH is equal to sodium acetate plus sodium acetate plus HCl. Minus delta naught of NaCl. Now find it out. NaOH, Na, NaO, AC is ninety one point zero plus forty four twenty six point two minus NaCl is one twenty six point five. When you do this, when you do this, your correct option will be your correct answer will be that is nothing but your three ninety point seven. Simon centimeter square. Okay, so that is centimeter square per mole. That is option C will be your correct answer. Now coming back to question number thirty-seven. Nickel carbonyl is having dash structure. Nickel carbonyl is sp three hybridized and it is sp three hybridized. Therefore, it will be in the tetrahedral structure. Therefore, option B will be your correct answer. According to the crystal field splitting theory. therefore the ml bond of the complex is always it will be purely it is purely electrostatic or ionic therefore among the option they have given ionic 
देर फोर ऑप्शन ए विल बी योर करेक्ट आंसर दट इज प्योरली आयोनिक विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हाइब्रिडाइजेशन एज प्लेनार ज्योमेट्री दट इज स्क्र प्लेनार ज्योमेट्री वी नो दैट स्क्र प्लेनार ज्योमेट्री विल बी इन द डी टू एस पी टू हाइब्रिडाइज ओके दिस इज योर केमिकल बॉन्डिंग डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन दट इज डी टू एस पी टू हाइब्रिडाइज एंड इवन इन द कॉर्डिनेशन कॉम्पाउंड ऑल्सो Which of the following form colorless aqueous solution? Among this, only scandium has zero unpaired electrons. So, if there is a zero unpaired electrons, that is three d zero, it never undergo transition to give a color. Therefore, option D will be your correct answer. So, your option D will be your correct answer, guys. Okay. Now, coming back to electronic configuration of chromium three plus. Now let us see electronic configuration of chromium is nothing but your argon three d five four s one. So we have to find out the three Cr three plus. So this can't be. Therefore, take out the three electrons. Three plus is equals to Ar. That is three d three four s zero. Option A will be your correct answer. One electron, two electrons from this, it becomes three d three and four s zero. Clear guys. Now coming back to question number forty-two. The correct order of the first ionization enthalpies among this, we know that the correct order of the first ionization enthalpy will be nick titanium, next magnesium, nickel, then it is zinc. Therefore, option C will be your correct answer. Next, which of the following is the most acidic? The more acidic will be your more oxygen atoms should be present. The more oxygen atom is present in Mn two O seven. This is your tip. Keep in your mind. Therefore, manganese heptoxide is most acidic. Which of the following is least basic among this? Lanthanum hydroxide, lutetium hydroxide, cerium hydroxide, and neodymium hydroxide. Among this, lutetium hydroxide is least basic. It's the conceptual question from the F block elements. clear now coming back to question number 45 which of the following has maximum conductivity in the aqueous solution which has the maximum coordination number will be having the maximum conductivity among this which is as having the maximum coordination number option d therefore your option d that is hexamine cobalt tri chloride therefore option d will be your correct answer this is the tips please keep in your mind this tips going to help you for sure Which of the following compound shows optical isomerism? It's a direct question. Optical isomerism that is trioxalate of chrome, uh, chromium three. Therefore, option C will be your correct answer. Ethyl bromide can be obtained from the action of HBr. In the present, it we have to find out CH three CH two Br. This is your ethyl bromide can be obtained from how? When I use CH three CH two OH, that is ethanol. Clear? Question number forty eight. SN one mechanism of alkyl halide is favored by is favored by what? High concentration of nucleophile? No. Polar solvent? Yes. Polar solvent of S one SN one mechanism? Yes. We use and presence of less bulky alkyl group? No. Strong nucleophile contraindication statement of A and D. Therefore, this wrong, this this wrong. Therefore, option B will be your correct answer. That is polar solvent. Which of the following is the most acidic? Coming back to the most acidic is under the alcohol. It will be as a primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, tertiary alcohol. The under this, which are the primary alcohol, secondary, and this is also secondary. So it will not go. Primary among this primary, which is the first? Therefore, that is option D, CH three OH. That is methanol is the most acidic. Clear, guys? In the reaction of this, when a phenol reacted with carbon tetrachloride, in the presence of NH, it forms an intermediate product that is nothing but your OH with O. That is C OH three twice. This is your intermediate product. Among this again hydrolysis, it gives the Y that is nothing but your guys. This is your salicylic acid. It is given COH that is salicylic acid is formed. This reaction is called as Riemann-Tieman reaction. 
clear by seeing this reagents only we can say that it is a Riemann Riemann reaction okay it forms a salicylic acid the major product in this reaction the major product in this reaction is see here guys now CH3 CO TH CH3 again CH3 when reacts with hydrogen iodide now very simple tip I give what kind of ether it is it is an unsymmetrical ether unsymmetrical ether when it is reacted with hydrogen halide it forms it forms the smaller alkyl halide what does it forms it forms smaller alkyl halides smaller alkyl halide so among this what can be smaller alkyl halide it can form ch3i first okay it can form ch3i why due to why it is forming smaller alkyl halide because due to steric hindrance due to steric hindrance it forms therefore among this ch3i is there anywhere therefore option c therefore this will be your option c will be your correct answer and it forms ch3 c ch3 again ch3 here ch and oh it forms here should be 3 therefore your correct option will be option c which of the following is most reactive towards hydrogen I hydrogen cyanide among this the most reactive is first we know that the most reactive will be first will be aldehydes then it is ethers among this which are aldehydes ch3 tho and hcho among this which is the first aldehyde that is methanol this is your ethanol the most reactive will be option d that is methanol clear Next, which of the following will undergo Canizaros reaction? Canizaros reaction should undergo it as a main property, should not contain, should not contain alpha hydrogen atom. Then among this, this contains alpha hydrogen atom, even this contains alpha hydrogen atom, even this contains alpha hydrogen atom, only option C is not containing alpha hydrogen atom, that is CH3, C, CH3. Therefore, again CH3, again here CH4, therefore no alpha hydrogen atom. Therefore, this option C will undergo Canizoros reaction. In this reaction, when it is reacted with CH3, CH2, COOH, it reacts with phosphorus in the presence of chloride. It forms CH3, CH, Cl, COOH. When it is reacted with alcoholic KOH, what does it form? It should form alkene alkene form agbeko therefore that is ch3 double bond ch and covoh therefore therefore it is nothing but your acrylic acid this is your acrylic acid therefore option a will be your correct answer now coming back to question number 55 mononitration of aniline is achieved by that is nothing but your we know that mononitration is nothing but your para nitro benzene we can or para nitro aniline we can write it as para nitro aniline therefore it can be obtained by acetylation first it will undergo acetylation formation followed by nitration then it will undergo hydrolysis to form a mono nitration therefore option c will be your correct answer structurally cellulose is linear polymer cellulose is a linear polymer of what beta glucose molecule therefore option a will be your correct answer next question number 57 we are ending this video we are near to the question number 60 that is peptide hormone is of what is the peptide or estrogen progesterone estrogen testosterone corticoids are not a pe peptide hormones therefore only the peptide hormones are insulins or the peptide hormones which of the following statement is not correct about dna molecule it's not correct we have to find out it has double helix structure it is correct it serves as a hereditary material yes it replication is called a semi conservative mode of replication exactly therefore it two strands of the exactly similar no it are very different there are different two strands of dna's are different with the two different nucleic acids are there therefore therefore option C will be your correct answer. 
Among this, the order of reactivity of the methyl halides in the formation of Grignard's reagent, we know that the reactivity will be at iodine, bromine, then it is chlorine. Therefore, among this, iodine, okay, it is only in the first, iodine, bromine, chlorine, therefore, option C will be your correct answer. This, let it be your tip. Now, we are heading with the last question, that is nothing but your Tollens reagent is nothing but your, nothing but your ammonical silver nitrate solution. Therefore, option C will be your correct answer. So, guys, we are done with our op all mock test 1, that is mock test 1 and as well as mock test 2 solution videos. Now, your, your thing is like you go through the video, watch all the things and I am waiting for your comments and coming back to guys you can join Diksha KCT WhatsApp channel for all the updates on PDF the link is given below and you, even you can download the PDF of mock test 1 and 2 also and the detail video also been made how to download mock test 1 and mock test 2 also you can go through it and guys before ending the video thank you for joining my class the like share and subscribe the Diksha Karnataka YouTube channel Today you Nirmal sir signs of Mansindano Nirmal, Martinalo Nirmal. Bye guys, have a great day.